Hello everybody, hope you're doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going through Bitcoin, Ontology Gas, ADA Cardano and XLM Stellar Lumen. So I hope that you enjoy this and let's begin with Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin obviously being the dominant player in the game. So let's begin here and what the takeaway for this video is, is wait for those setups to come to you because these altcoins have just been the best setups, like really amazing setups and just being patient and waiting for them to come is really the moral of today's video um so yeah, let's let's start off with here with Bitcoin on the bigger term time frame. And really, you know, when we look here on the smaller term time frame, you look at the five minute, and yes, it's been possible to sculpt the five minute today. Okay. So the you know, obviously the some of the reactions are, are still technically valid. Um, you know, you're still still seeing reactions from the 618, for example, golden pocket regions. Um, but obviously you have to know what you're doing to be sculpting here. Okay, so when you're sculpting down on these lower term time frames, it's easy to be like uh, shook out unless you really know what you're doing. Obviously, this is really simple just taking the Fibonacci level but obviously you you could have played along from here but when you're shorting and longing and shorting for like the NABC you have to really be like on your game when you're scoping um, and what I want to show you is obviously on the bigger term time frame is where you can get you know a bigger view so you're not so focused on smaller term time frames because as I said before unless you are really good at scoping or know what you're doing then it's easy to lose money on those sort of time frames uh, because you just see big movements up and big movements down but when we zoom out to the what to the daily time frame here you can clearly see Bitcoin is holding higher lows higher lows higher lows higher lows and potentially another higher low here moving up again to the resistance um so there's key areas for the that you need to be looking at here on Bitcoin firstly obviously the the upsloping trend line where we could potentially have another ascending triangle in here okay so firstly just watch this ascending trend line which is about going to be about 3850 3830 okay so that's a support at the moment then obviously we are moving down to the last um higher low 3750 and then if we break below this this upsloping trend line then it's very likely in my opinion that we come down to test around 3670 okay if we lose this support region then obviously we're going to come down and test the overall ascending triangle that we could potentially have going on here Okay, and if we broke down from there, that, that that's very bearish, really. If we break down from this ascending triangle trend line, uh, but I don't see it coming in the in the immediate term. Okay, I don't see it coming in the immediate term. Um, but obviously, I am still overall bearish, but I do believe that we can get a little bit of momentum coming along here. Um, but yeah, really, it's just you know zooming out seeing if we break down from these support levels then yeah you can be shorting down to lower supports um but really there is still support here for bitcoin and the, the key areas are to watch so the the upsloping trend line here then obviously the last high low 3750 and then the whole region of resistance that we have around here from 3100 i'm going to say uh sorry 4120 up to around 4450 is your like really key region of resistance on bitcoin OK, so that's that's the Bitcoin analysis of just going through really briefly of just saying, like, you need to zoom out and get some perspective of what's going on here because it's so easy to be shook out on smaller term time frames. When you zoom out and get some perspective here, you know, it's very easy to be trading this. It's really, really not that difficult, um, <clears throat> especially when you come across to these altcoins. And I'm going to like blow your mind of how easy these trades were. Um, so this is something that I want to say, like this week, well, you know, the whole the time right now, really. But this week, especially, I'm going to be so, 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 so busy. It's unreal. Uh, I've got so much going on really really exciting plans I love being busy but yes yeah, I'm probably I won't have time for many videos this week because I'm really really busy with a lot of things going on at the moment uh, all trading stuff uh, and uh, housing stuff so it's exciting but uh, yeah it yeah really really busy and when you're so busy you don't have time to be at your chart all day so I have not been at my charts all day today I've been out and doing things um, and this is where you need to find those higher term time frame setups, enter your entries, enter your stop loss and enter your take profits. And you go in and don't need to be at your chart all day. OK, so let's go over some examples of where I made some trades today, not even at my computer and made profits. <laughs> so here we are on ONG. So we'll start on ONG, then I'll go over Cardano, then XLM. OK, I'm trying to try and get this in 10 minutes done, max. Uh, so let's go. So here we obviously have an old area of support. OK, flipping into resistance here. What do we expect to do after broken through at to support? OK, so what do we have on this horizontal support? We also have the 786 Fibonacci. OK, so perfect, perfect, perfect. Strong horizontal lining up with the 786 equals trade. OK, this was a 5% gain in about um, one hour. OK, so I was looking to trade trade was about one hour long and it was a five percent gain okay so let's zoom into the five minute time frame and i'll show you 10 minute time frame i'll show you what happened 
Okay, so the entry is really simply off of these blue lines. That one of them is obviously the old support, uh, you know, old support resistance flipping into support again, and the second one is the 786. Okay, and this is literally uh, from you know roughly from where they. Where, what, by the way, this green line that I'm aiming up to is just another old support level flipping into resistance. So this is literally like five percent gains in one hour. Uh, obviously from the bottom if you caught the bottom it's about uh, you know a 5.6% gain and up to the top wick which I don't think many would have got but a 7% gain in literally one hour trade um, so this is just like watching the setups and I literally just had a, a an entry you know an entry with a stop loss and a take profit and it was you know literally a five minute trade um, yeah they have five minute trade five they're five percent gain in a one hour trade okay moving on to Cardano let's move to Cardano here um, and what I'm going to show you is on Cardano. Okay, let's zoom out to the daily time frame because on a smaller term time frame, uh, it does look like we could potentially come down for an ABC. And there's a few key levels to be watching here. Really, for me, the top of wave one. Okay, so top of wave one is a key support level. Okay, really key support that we had come down here on the top of wave one for me because I don't want to be going into a starting diagonal. Um, so really wave one is a key area to be watching for and on a smaller term time frame to see if we get movement up, then you're going to be looking for the top of wave, uh, you know, wave, top of wave, potential sub wave three. So this is sub wave three within the, within the uh, third. Okay. So if I zoom out really quickly, I want to try and explain this. I'm just really stuck for time right now. But this is what I was watching this as. So this is wave three, where you've got a one, two, three, four, five. And then you have the converging trend lines for me, which was an A, B, C, D, E breaking up for wave five of the third. OK, so this was really technical, really, really nice. As you all know, I, I longed the breakout of here. And then I uh, had my trading stop loss that I got stopped out. So I got stopped out in profits. OK, so it was really not, you know, it was profits. I got stopped out in profits as we come down on here. And then I re-entered as we broke above wave one. OK, so then obviously I'm playing it up to, you know, the top of a potential wave three after seeing a one, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five. And then on a smaller term time frame here, it looks like we have the potential of seeing an ABC zigzag. OK, so here, obviously today we hit the golden pocket. And that's where it found resistance, but seeing an ABC zigzag potential in here. OK, so this is something to keep an eye on on a smaller term time frame that we have the, the the possibility of seeing an ABC like this. Obviously, to get down to the one to one extension, we get a slight wick through the old uh, old resistance here. Uh, but that's, yeah, something that I'm uh, definitely trading. Um, so then you see here also how today literally like perfectly coming up to the, the, the golden pocket before getting a rejection. But it looks like an ABC potential with a one, two, three, four, five. OK, so that's what I'm watching here. But I will be playing Cardano long again. Uh, when I get some, you know, resolution here of what's happening on the ABC, uh, but I'm eager to to trade this when I get um, back into a position. So I'm not in a position. I didn't take a position on Cardano uh, on a smaller term time frame. On a smaller term time frame today, just scalping. I was not in a position. I only took my position on Ontology Gas, and now XLM. I'll show you because this was so nice, <laughs> um, and this is one that I'm still holding. So I'm just still still holding this because I still see the potential of us coming up and testing resistance here. So this was like a sculpt that turns into a swing trade because look at this. So here, this is just like really perfect. So you see this old green line that I have here. OK, so let's just try and hold this still. OK, so the blue line, apologies, the blue line. And I'm just going to remove this fib level. We don't need this a second. So the oh, this old fib level, uh, sorry, this old support. So we have support, support, support. What happens when you break through support is hold it holds. It holds, you break three supports, and once it's been broken through, you expect it to hold as support again, okay? So obviously here, <clears throat> this was for me coming up in the third, so this is the potential of a three coming down for a subway four of the fifth, okay? then looks like just briefly it looking like an ending diagonal but you can clearly see that this obviously is a sub wave here of the third and now coming down for the potential of an abc in in wave in in wave four coming up again for the fifth okay so what you're seeing here let me just label this for you because this needs to be labeled up so you understand so like a one two three four and then coming up for a fifth and i'm sorry that magnet tool is annoying <laughs> um so here yeah so what I'm show, what I'm trying to explain to you all here, because this is such a nice trade, and this is the thing I have not been at my computer, you know, actively managing these trades, and it's just entering positions and coming back and seeing profits when you get to your computer, and it's a lovely feeling, and it's just technical analysis working. This is the best job in the world <laughs> um, because it's just perfect. Um, so what we see here is old support broken. Flipping into support, what do we have absolutely perfectly? This for me is just the, the money maker of the day. Um, old wave one, 
wave one flipping into support let me delete this so wave one we do not want to see wave four really although it can we don't want to see wave four for a motive wave you cannot see wave four coming into the region of wave one so what happens here wave wave four holds the top of wave one absolutely perfectly okay absolutely perfectly you see the wick down let me remove this line you see the wick down and then a reaction okay why was this a reaction because it was the top of wave one and to hold this as a motive wave you obviously want to see it hold um so you don't get you know start getting into any you know leading diagonals just the, simply the one, two, the three, the four, and then, you know, still coming up for the fifth. I'm not going to get greedy on this because I realize that on the smaller term time frame, we are sort of running into resistance, but this is still like a, um, I, when I will, just before I made this, it's like 5% up uh from literally you know but you can see here that you do have an area of resistance uh looking here on on the fib levels you, you see so like you obviously want to be looking from the 0 0.5 potential 0 0.5 to 618 as resistance um so we are starting to run into resistance but literally this is from the top of wave one here uh yeah literally like a 5.7 percent gain and zero zero management needed of the trade at all um so yeah, I won't get greedy on this trade, but yeah, you know, that's just showing you how nice some of these altcoins are to trade technically, absolutely perfect. You know, those, you know, really ontology gas and XLM, really, really nice. Uh, Cardano, I'm going to be trading. Uh, when I get a bit of, you know, I, I, I still do believe that we're going to see an ABC coming down. Um, but if we are to break up from the top of wave three, I'll do exactly what we've done here. That when we top broke the top of wave one, I'll just enter into another market, you know, another market buy. Uh, because I am aggressive on some of these altcoins because I see really amazing opportunities. And when I see really amazing opportunities, I... Um, I don't want to miss them. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I, I don't miss opportunities when they're there. So when the when the time's needed, I'm very um, you know open to taking risks basically uh, because with no ri with no risk there is no reward. Okay, so that's an important uh, metric to think of. Um, so yeah, here on Bitcoin, still looking at this ascending triangle. Nothing much going on on the smaller term time frames. Uh, yeah, it's it's fun to scalp, but you know if you're a newer trader, don't get too caught caught up in scalping in the smaller term time frames because you may find yourself losing money unless you are you know a professional and know what you're doing with scalping. It's it's easy to throw away money. Um, so yeah, just just trade what you know best. Um, and yeah, I hope you do well. And I will catch you all around. Yeah, as I said before, I'm so busy. Um, I am not sure how many videos I'd have out this week because my my schedule is absolutely hectic um yeah really busy but really really good i'm so happy like everything's going well so yeah thank you everybody for the support all the kind messages you know i read everything i i love you all <laughs> honestly like thank you so much and uh yeah everything's going for me really well so don't worry about me uh yeah i'm just excited and happy for the projects that are coming out uh from chart champions <laughs> uh it's going to be fun it's going to be interesting and i hope you all enjoy um so yeah hopefully this technical analysis is beneficial for you all and uh you yeah you can start start learning from the help of me so thank you so much everybody and i will catch you in the next one cheers thanks bye <laughs>